What's going on, guys? Hot as hell here today. It was like 95, no breeze, hard to breathe, and got the ACs on, and the fans are uh, up and running again. Figuring it was gonna, I mean, it was cool last night, so, and yesterday wasn't too bad, had a breeze, but today, pff, it's brutal. It's when the sinus headaches start kicking in again and whatnot. Uh, but, just do a review on three guitars. This is a Yamaha EJ112. Not a bad guitar. 50 bucks. Strat style. It's got the Ibanez uh, to it. One volume, one tone. Five way selector switch. Two single coil, a humbucker. Output is on the bottom. Which I sort of like because it's not in the way. Sometimes you get your tremolos when, for some reason, when it's. And uh, the str springs get uh, tired. The arm hits the uh, cord, the jackpot. But uh, other than that, you know, it's not made. It's made pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. I have it on distortion, but in the amps all the way over there. So I would put it on clean to get a better sound, but. That's the neck. Neck and metal. Just got done eating Wendy's, so thing is uh stays in tune a little bit better than the uh, squires and whatnot, but stays in tune, not bad at all. Intonation is pretty dead on. You wouldn't be able to tell about it looking at the, uh, the bridge, but it's actually a well made bridge, to be honest with you. It's not bad at all for the price. Made in Indonesia. So. That's a good, uh, be able to come across them. It's definitely worth picking up. I mean, the fret job isn't too bad. Uh, no sharp edges. Well, so that's not too bad at all. So, if you ever come across these Yamahas and you're interested in them, you know, they're definitely worth uh, picking up. This guy right here, uh, I got, a, I believe, 20 bucks. Uh, oh, not much to say about it. It's really not much information on it. It's a cruise guitar created for VMI. Uh... One site said it stood for Virginia Music Institute. I don't know. Uh, it's a small scale. Uh, it is not a very well made guitar by far. It's If it was made for a school, this is exactly what they would probably give to them. Uh, 
Yeah, it's... I've... Uh, it's the back tune is, I mean, I looked them up, some of them, and they've had that. So that must sort of like a, a quick fix for students, I guess. If you're in a class, you can just tighten up the, the screws on it. Uh, the tremolo is as shitty as you can actually get on it. Uh, adjustment on it is there is no adjustment on it. I mean, it has just the string, the the springs in the back, but uh, the claw is very uh, made cheaply. They got it screwed all the way. <clears throat> in to keep the bridge down. Uh, real piece of shit uh, tremolo block for the strings. Uh, it's got the one volume, the one tone, humbucker. Uh, yeah, it's really not a good guitar at all. I mean, it's good for if you're learning, but I would definitely get it set because this was actually a real pain in the ass to, to get the action right and it's still a little high uh, no matter what you do it's I mean I got the intonation good on it the arch of the saddles which weren't too bad but all in all just a bad even a bad setup I mean I got the uh, jack right there and uh, Kind of stupid if you think about it, because yeah, that's. I mean, it'll rest on that. I mean, that's the only way you would be able to get some sort of use out of it. But it's really not a brilliant idea. I mean, yeah, it's really. It's definitely a good beginner's guitar. That's that's for sure. Uh, I don't even know if it's... I don't know. Oops. Sorry. It stays in tune a little bit. But... Yeah, it's all over... All over the board. Even, uh... To change the height on the saddles. They don't even have Allen keys. They have mini slotted screws, which is a real pain in the ass to adjust. But yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not. You can only dive bomb, you can't even. Yeah, so this is uh, I think they make other ones that are probably full size I've seen one video with it on there and uh, I mean it looked actually really nice but this is a small scale and uh, pretty not much more to say about this bad boy <laughs> just very tiny but 
for a beat around or just learning how to play the guitar or whatnot, it's a good guitar. Uh, the other one, uh, I'm done messing around with it. I did a review on it a while back, but uh, this is the one I, <clears throat> the second one I made. The other one I made is over there, but uh, uh, I added some touches to it. It's not perfect because I didn't have a full size uh, blank of wood at the time. These were just two uh, busted up shelvings I glued together and whatnot. It didn't take long to do. A few beers, you're bored, and you, what you do. But uh, it's not perfect, so don't judge. But that's this bad boy right here. You know. I went up buying a pre-wired pickguard for it. Uh, neck from Amazon was thirty-three dollars for the neck, and uh, and just the parts. I mean, all in all, it probably ran me. I don't know, sixty sixty bucks, just for all the parts. I mean, I'd still have to get the right size uh, bridge for it, but uh. Yeah, but most of the other parts I already had laying around. Uh, like I said, it's not the best, but, you know, I'll get better over time with it, but, yeah, it's not a, it's not a bad guitar for uh, something that took a couple hours to throw together. I mean... Yeah, other than uh, the wood not being wide enough, but other than that, all in all, it's not a bad guitar, I think, anyway. So, uh, to see if she's in tune, she should be. This weather's being rough, the humidity. Coming in a nuisance. And my brother one keeps leaving the keep leaving the back door open when it gets hot as hell down here. I'm gonna have to start uh, putting Gatorade on these bad boys to Not too bad.
not bad for the neck pickup. <laughs> Yeah, not much of a guitar player. I like messing around with them and fixing them and whatnot, but other than that, yeah, I suck. But anyway, as long as I'm having fun, who cares what anybody else thinks? Correct? Correct. Well, that's pretty much about it. Uh, yeah, I believe I told Green Terror uh, I would do a video on my uh, Hondo Formula One because he just picked up a pretty nice uh, hammer slammer flying V which actually looks looks pretty cool actually uh so yeah all right peace out talk to you later